Hello, odd people. It's not easy talking positive about a company that the stock price has been crashing for the last four years. It's not easy talking positive about a company that has been losing money quarter after quarter for the last so many years since the IPO. It's not easy talking positive about the company that has not done anything to retail investors, even though retail investors pay dearly for investing in the company. It's not easy to do that. It is not easy to carry the selfie stick and make a video and talk positive about the company. One, not only that we lose money, but you also have to explain how wonderful the company is. You know, how do you think YouTubers feel when they have investment in you and then yet they explain, talk positive about the company and then uh, and, and they lose money. <laughs> Not easy at all. It's actually stressful. Every time I pick up this selfie stick thing and, uh, and uh, try to, uh, you know, make sense of the situation, talk positive about the company because I truly believe deep in my heart that that's what it is uh, i know it's not it's not so easy it's uh, it's actually very very difficult it's not easy going to uh, school and uh, talking and talk to your to the teacher of your child if your child is not doing well and you talk to the teacher or the principal and the teacher will tell you that your your child is a, is a genius your child is, is, is a wonderful kid, very intelligent. When your child is flunking uh, yes, a quarter after quarter or semester after semester and year after year, how can the teacher tell you that? It's not easy. Not easy for the teacher. Not easy for you to even listen to that. Doesn't make any sense. But for some reason, the teacher thinks your child is, is one of a kind. But not good with grades, but good with everything else. Not easy. It's not easy even talking about battery swap for Neo, for example, when uh, we haven't, we just lose money on it. Oh, yeah, we have expansions, we have uh, partnerships, we have whatever, but we have the end result, we lose money. Not easy. How do you explain that? Not easy to talk positive of, about news phone and justify news phone. Not easy at all. UWB, the ultra wide band, big deal. What is this going to do to me, to the balance sheet? Tell me, is it, are we making money or not? People think that like this, right? Not easy. Not easy to say positive things about it when you have, when you has to invest so much money in R&D to come up with a phone. Is it really necessary? A lot of people question that. And it is something that it could be challenged. Could be. Not for the one who understands the model. Not easy. Not easy to talk positive about, uh, you know, the, the AI chip. How do you explain that? Not easy to talk about new houses. How, how easy is this? Do you think it's easy to say, oh, wow, new houses. I know they cost so much money. I know new loses a lot of money, but they are necessary for new's model because of the lifestyle, because of this, because it's a showroom for, you know, the, uh, for, the, for, the, for the vehicles, for the models. It is a place where you also they you can you can buy coffee or you can have daycare or something or something or somewhere. You see what I mean? It's not easy. Not easy at all. Believe me, every time, like I said, you carry the stick and try to make a video and talk about uh, a company that's losing money for so long, you would find that, uh, the, you know, it's a stressful situation, just like the case now. And sometimes you might see me uh, not in good mood or whatever. Yes, it is. It is a stressful situation. I can understand why some YouTubers take in breaks. Yes, it is difficult. It's not easy at all. It's much easier for 
someone to talk positive about a company when the company is doing well and when the stock is behaving that way much easier and that's why sometimes once you see some kind of momentum in a positive direction you would see a lot of guys jumping in because they would they would actually cap uh, capitalize on this they would take advantage of the situation and say positive things so they uh, you know you, you look good like that when you say something positive and the stock behaves that way, you look good. Not easy. Not easy to do it the other way around when the stock is crashing. How many times did we make videos when the stock crashed and yet we still say, it's fine, a company is doing wonderful. How many times? 100 times? 500 times? How many times? Right? So why would we do this? Why? What makes us say something like this? Positive things, not only positive things, the best of the best. In my opinion, NEO is a magnificent company. It's one of the magnificent companies that we will see in, in, in recent years. Why is that? It is this either understanding the model that maybe a lot of people don't understand or have no idea which is also possible, or uh, some sort of unconditional love for the stock. You have unconditional love for something, you can only find good things, beautiful things. And so it's okay. Even the pain, it's a good pain. You know, it's good pain, good losses, whatever. I bet you that we all lost so much money in new that we haven't lost anywhere else i personally think that i lost more money in new than i lost in any single stock all my life but i believe that new is the hidden gem is a magnificent company it is actually the best of the best it's very very difficult and it's not easy whatsoever to talk positive about a company that is actually targeted by naked shorts we're not talking shorts anymore we're talking about naked shorts some people think that uh yeah naked shorts six million shares and they try to do a ratio between six million shares and the and the all the shares in the in the for the company like the six, two billion there's over two billion and they do this ratio unbelievable you know that actually anyone would do something like this unbelievable you don't do that you do it to the daily average and watch the videos and you would do it to the daily average but it's not easy and when you do that you would see how magn how significant that is it's not easy to say stay positive it's not even easy to even do a lot more research when you know most of your losses are from this company. What would drive you to do more and more research on a company that you lost the most money? What's the driver behind it? See, I think it is unconditional love. I think it's love. Some people think that you should not love a company, should not love a stock. And I think it's total nonsense. Anything you want to do, you should love. Anything. If you if you uh, um, if you're uh, joining a program in university, you should love that program. You should really love what you're doing because love would give you this drive to spend more time uh, to uh, to do what you're doing, even though it's challenging. Of course, it could be challenging, but you would love it because you you care about it you you love it it's love that would uh, give you the the ability to bear the pain to bear the pain you know if you love someone and you have some pain from that person what happens you stick but if you don't you just you just get out you don't care because ah i'm not you know i don't care about this right I have my life, you, you, you're, you're selfish, you think of yourself, you don't think of the other person because you don't care about the other person, because there's no love. Love is what uh, really keeps that bond, keeps you moving. I, that's how I see it.
that's how I see it. There are a lot of things in the market that people say that I do not believe whatsoever. For example, diversification. I do not believe in that whatsoever at all. It's not easy. Why? Because you, you few, okay, few, but that's not necessarily complete diversification. I mean, some people I know, uh, they, they, they just talk about 50 stocks or whatever, and they spread their money or whatever. That's not investment, in my opinion. You need to invest in very, very few that you have full understanding of. We're talking about retail investors. We're not talking about big companies because big companies have huge uh, workforce and uh, a lot of people who, who do research. So they, there is understanding on a company basis, but we're talking about retail investors. You do the research yourself. How many companies have you done, have you invested in, and that you have enough information to answer all the questions? Even Neo, which we spend so much time on, so much time, we still miss uh, uh, certain things here and there. It's not easy to, to, to know everything about the company that you have uh, investment in. So the bottom line is I actually have no explanation except unconditional love. And I think it is actually a requirement to love the company, love the model when you invest in a company. It is a requirement the way I see it. Some people think that you should not. I think it's a must. And it is this one that makes you get up at 3 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock, whatever, and, and make sure that you get all the information necessary to make you uh, feel comfortable and feel, uh, you understand what's happening. And it is this love that makes you wait. You wait for the company in the future. You help the company by investing in it and, uh, and be patient with the company. You would not be patient by, with something that you don't like that much and you don't love that much. You would not be patient with that at all. It is this unconditional love. And that's the, what they call it, what is it? That's the uh, rest of the story. Yes, that's the one. All right. Well, anyways, never financial advice. Thanks. Bye-bye.